All right. What a wonderful place to be on Friday night. Amen. Glad to see everyone here. We know we got lots of different congregations represented here. I am Lord Clark. I speak for the folks here, or preach to them from time to time, I try to teach a class or two. And uh, we welcome you here to the first annual Randolph Lawrence County Lectureship. Notice I put Randolph first. So. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are just amazed at the support we've had from congregations all over the two counties. Amen. I think some 20 different congregations have sent financial support uh, for the newspaper ads that we put in the papers and from the, some of the refreshments and things you'll have tomorrow to the programs and things like that. We'll probably have some money left over that the plan right now is to use that for seed money for next year. So uh, anyway, we welcome you. What will happen, well, first of all, let's just, we'll have two sessions tonight. After this little introduction here and lay of the land, uh, uh, we will, the ladies will go through here to a classroom behind the baptistry back here and have their class. There is women's restroom here, women's restroom here, right? And then men back there and men back in this corner, water fountain back there. Um, what else? Baby rooms back there, although I don't see any babies tonight. So, and uh, but you're welcome to bring them tomorrow. We have a young lady that's volunteered to take care of them. I want to commend that man right there, Bob Anderson. He has put in a ton of work to get the facilities in the back uh, ready for a class, and and uh, also help the ladies with our fellowship building. The house on the corner here is stocked with soda and in the morning it'll have donuts and coffee and things like that uh, for those of you that come early. And we do want you here early. Uh, young Seth Parnell, the new preacher at Portia, is gonna speak at eight o'clock. And it'd be nice if there were some people there with their eyes open uh, to listen to him. Uh, he's gonna speak on zeal. So that might be a little tough at, seven, at eight o'clock Saturday morning, but, but uh, we appreciate it. Uh, Let's see. Parking, you can see you can park most anywhere around here. It didn't rain enough to get you stuck anywhere out there, although there is a little puddle up over on this side. Park anywhere you'd like. Tomorrow there will be soda and water and coffee and makings for hot chocolate if you want it in the morning over in the building over there. If you want to bring bottled water in here, we have no objection to that because uh, it will be a lot, several long sessions. It'll be informal. You can get up and walk out if you need to. Uh, and so just come and attend those that you want to attend and, and uh, go over there and fellowship in the other building. Uh, now, if we get more than 40 ladies, the ladies will have to go over there because uh, it's a much bigger room than back here. Let's see, what else, Josh? Uh, all right, what's gonna happen here now Kenny Townsley from Lynn is going to speak out here for the men, and Jean Willard is going to speak back here. For, she's from Burdell Congregation. Their topic, and the topic for this whole thing, is Jesus' prayer, it's found in John, uh, to, that his followers might all be one. And I'll steal a little bit from my session in the morning, but, you know, he wouldn't have prayed that if it wasn't possible. And so he prayed that we might all be one. And we can do that if we follow the right rule book. And that rule book's in the back of the pews there, and, and uh, you know, it's the Holy Bible. And so we just need to rightly divide the word, and, and we'll be ready to go, and we can be one. And that's with all kinds of differences. Brother here, whose name escapes me at the moment, what's your name? Steve. He's always telling us about... Uh, his time in Germany and the Philippines and other places, people that are Christians are pretty much the same everywhere, aren't they? They all love to sing gospel music. They all love to read the and study the Bible, and they all love to fellowship one with another. Uh, I share that same experience. My wife does. She lived in Korea with me for a couple of years and Germany for three years. And by the way, we celebrated our 49th anniversary this week. And... Uh, proud of that and so what, what we're going to do now is brother Rob Combs 
and another, uh, Rob Combs' church, not his church, Christ church, but the church he <laughs> ministers for down the street here, Main Street, is going to feed you lunch tomorrow. And so uh, just come, planning to eat them out of house and home down there. Uh, they feed a lot of kids every week, so I know they're experienced at it. So, uh, But we appreciate them stepping in and helping out. That's, that's a big help for our ladies here. Um, Bob and Joan did a lot of work. The other ladies did a lot of work getting things ready, so we commend them. Rob, if you'll offer a prayer, then we'll be dismissed for the ladies to go here and Brother Kenny to come up here. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening. First and foremost, Father, thanking you for this beauty of this day, this time that we can set aside. And Father, the ability to be able to put first things first tonight and to come and to study from your word. We pray, Father, for the speakers tonight and for the lectureship as a whole. We pray that we may be strengthened, that we might be able to reach out not only to the community here, but, Father, to those that we may know in our lives that are lost or that need to be restored. And pray, Father, that this lectureship may give us wisdom, understanding, greater appreciation, Father, of the unity and the love and the one another attitude that we need to possess and have with us all the time. We're thankful for all the congregations here, for the, especially for the Free Street congregation that's hosting. We pray that you'll be with, with Lloyd and with the congregation that meets here, with each one of us, Father, as we go out from here back to our home congregations. We pray for those in the community that might visit, Father, too, that they'll be enriched, that they'll be edified, and in all things, Father, that your truth may prevail. Be with us tonight throughout the, this weekend. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.